Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen me before, I'm Chantelle. I am so excited because I've recently got a new camera. This is my first video that I've done with my camera. So there are some like parts where it like goes out of focus like a little like a little tiny bit but like you can't really notice it that well I've tried so hard to kind of like edit it out and stuff today I'm going to show you this makeup look it's a dramatic kind of cut crease oh my god the eyeliner oh my god it kills me but you know if you do like the video make sure you hit that subscribe button and we will get into the video I'm just taking the LA Girl Pro Coverage Lightning Foundation and I'm just mixing it with the eye eraser from Maybelline just so it lightens the concealer just a little bit. As you can see up here it's like the white and this is it mixed together. I'm just going to put my brush into that and just outline my eyebrows. I'm also just putting this all over my lid for a like, a base for my eyeshadow that I'm going to do. Just so everything looks clean and there's a new canvas for the eyeshadow. So, yes. Focus on me. Woo! I'm also taking this and putting it on the top of my brow also. Just to make it look a lot cleaner. Like the shape will be a lot more pronounced and clean if you do this. I think this is the best thing you can do when- Oh no! No! Oh my god! How do I fix it? 12 seconds later. I'm just getting my beauty blender now and I'm literally just blending my concealer into my actual skin because it looks a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Y'all understand what I mean. I'm then taking the Matte Matcha Maybelline powder in the shade Classic Ivory and I'm literally just gonna put that everywhere where I put the concealer. Like, so if you don't really like prep your eyelids for eyeshadow, it will end up like creasing on the natural oils of your skin and stuff and it's just, it doesn't look great so. I would definitely recommend doing that. To start off, I'm going to go in with my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to go in the crease with Bruno Fesco. I, I'm so bad. I'm so, so bad at names. So excuse me for that. I'm just going to go in with this in the crease just as a transition colour. And the brush I'm going to be using is the Taper Blending Brush by Sigma in E40. And I'm just going to literally put that on my eyelid like this. This is just simply going to like help all of the darker colours blend. Because if there's nothing to really blend into, you can't... There's no point of even trying to blend. Like, it's... There's just no point, let's be honest. Because it's going to be a cut crease, you're going to go quite away towards your eyebrow. Like, you have to go quite close to your eyebrow. Just because a cut, the cut crease I'm going to be doing is going to be quite high on the eyelid. So you're going to want to have as much space as you can. I literally have no storage on my phone, so I'm having to delete literally everything just so I can, like, do stuff on my phone. And then just taking a bit of a love letter. I'm just going to put that on another eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to blend that into the crease where I want my crease, my cut crease to be. I literally forgot how brightening this colour is. I used to hate, I mean absolutely hate, putting pink on my eyes. I don't know why, I've always been like a warm toned kind of person. But lately I've been really loving it, like I never ever ever thought I'd like say that. Like because I've always like not liked it. Okay so once that's like all blended in, I'm going to go in with a smaller eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to go into the colour Cypress Umber right here and I'm just going to dip my brush into that. I'm just going to carve out where I want my 
cut crease to be. It doesn't have to be like the sharpest line ever. It's just gonna like help you to know where the cut crease is gonna be. Okay, to build that up, I'm just gonna like uh, try and blend it out just a little bit, just so the colors that I'm gonna put on top of these can uh, blend in easier. Cause if you don't blend this in a little bit, it's gonna create a really harsh line and you don't really want that. Like, you want a harsh line at the bottom, but not the top. So just a little tip for you. I'm just going to go in now with Venetian Red mixed with Cypress Umber with the same brush I was just blending with and I'm just going to put that over the line that I just drew. I'm then just blending this out with my E40 again and I'm just just trying to soften everything up i think the one thing with this look is to blend as much as you can because the more you blend the smoother everything just goes together okay with this brush that i just used i'm just gonna go in to red ochre which is like the ready color um i'm just gonna put a little bit over that just to darken everything up and create like more of a rich color more than like a barbie pink color okay so and now you've done kind of the base of the cut crease i'm gonna go in with cypress umber again on that same brush but i'm just gonna put that on the line that we drew on the line that we drew pre previously just so it smokes it out a little tiny bit more and it creates a lot more definition within the cut crease. It doesn't really matter what this bit looks like at the moment, just for that fact, we're gonna go over that with a concealer to kind of conceal up a sharp line. So that doesn't really matter at the moment, if y'all get what I mean. Um, for the black in this palette, there's a really, really, really opaque black colour right here. I don't, I st everyone's been asking me what, what eyeshadow palette do you use when I use this. I physically don't know. It's called this. If you guys want to look it up, go for it. But I got it for Christmas the other year and I've tried to look for it so much. People are saying it's Revolution, but it's not Revolution. Like, Revolution has Revolution on the front of it. So, if you guys want to find out what it is, because I'd really love to get some more of these, because the pigmented shades, oh my god, the pressed pigments on here, they are, like, amazing like there's so many so many so many colors and they're so different as well like there's a dark silver it's like a bluey silvery kind of they are just amazing so if you want to go and find this palette for me okay you can screenshot okay but yeah i'm just gonna use that opaque black shade and i'm just gonna go in with that small little brush again and i'm just gonna outline exactly or where i'm gonna cut the crease Whew. i forgot how pigmented these are <laughs> oh my god okay okay pigment come through i totally forgot how pigmented this black shade was and i might have put way too much on I'm just going to go in with a Sigma E35 tapered blending brush and I'm just going to try and blend that in a little. It doesn't matter what it looks like underneath here. What matters is what it looks like, like blended wise, because if it doesn't look blended, if it's too sharp, then we can't have a problem. We can't have a problem. Okay, so I've literally just put my eyelashes on i'm just gonna go in with my um eyeline and just finish off my eyeliner i'm gonna do that off camera because i tried to do it on camera and i just it wasn't working it literally wasn't working so i am just going to do it off camera and i will be right back for glitter, I'm going to be using this um, glitter that I have recently got from eBay and oh my god, oh my god, it's, it's just, 
amazing. The way I do this, um, if you have sensitive eyes or anything like that, I would not recommend this like at all. But I use eyelash glue. Like if you have glitter glue or anything special like that, um, do that because it's going to be safer. But you put this on your eye anyway, you put it more towards your eye than anything to be honest because it's eyelash glue so it's not going to be that harmful as long as you just don't get it in your eye but i'm just going to put that on top of the eyeliner that i just drew on um i've just gone and cleaned the brush that i used for concealer i'm just going to dip it in the little pot thing just gonna run it along where i put the glue because it will stick to literally every bit of glue there is because it's really fine glitter i will link the glitter down below if you guys want to know where you can get it i think i it was so cheap i got like i think it was six pots for i think it was six pounds like i don't know it wasn't it was like on some weird offer but oh my god i use them like every day i've, I've been so so obsessed with glitter eyeliner recently and i thought you know what we're just gonna go in we're just gonna go in and i'm just gonna finish off my other eye and i will be right back i am just gonna do the rest of my face makeup 72 hours later okay so i've just done my rest of my face and um, this look is absolutely oh my god i've got to go work with my makeup like this so um i don't know how it's gonna hold up or anything like that but um yeah everything that i've wore like that i've actually put on my face it will all be linked down below make sure you follow me on snapchat instagram my private instagram you know what just stalk the hell out of me but yeah if you do like the video make sure you like subscribe and share it and i will see you guys soon bye